Alright, hello guys, this is HowToPC2, and I'm coming to you with a um, another tutorial on how to make a 3D intro in Cinema 4D uh, R13. And uh, I was current, I was uh, using the R12, and uh, there was a, I liked it, but I thought that I needed an upgrade. And um, the R13 has been everything that I hoped for and more. And I actually like this. Uh, over the R12s, although the R12s I'm used to, uh, I'm just getting used to this. I actually got it today, um, but I figured it out enough to where um, I can make a video. So, I think one thing that I'm going to show you is I think that there's better controls. If you guys uh, have the R12 version, you guys will know what I'm talking about. When you rotate, it rotates on a pivoted point which is that point right there where all three of the colors mix it rotates on that point which I, di I really did not like that but now it just re rotates on a point where you are so let's get started first thing that I'd always uh, do is um, go to um, a place called defonts.com No, nope, not that. I did not want a comma. I wanted a pyramid. Alright, this is like the best place. Um, I've got a couple uh, things from here. Um, some of which you might actually see in this video. But, um, so yeah, get a custom font, make it personalized, uh, install it at uh, the directory of C. Windows fonts, and I'm not going to go into that too much, but uh, here's what it's going to look like, like in the end. It's going to look something like that, but uh, so let's begin. Um, first thing that I'm going to say is make three colors, and what I'm going to say is choose a uh, primary color choose a secondary color and choose a uh, backdrop color so as you can see I am uh, making my secondary my primary which is a green like color and then, nope reflection and I didn't want that or actually maybe I do alright 100 175 72 255 So I want 75, 255, 100, 100. Ah. So now that I've got that, I can go to reflection, make this white, make it look better. 20, and I think I'm going to bump it up to 40. And actually, I think I'm going to bump it up to 60. Ah. There we go. Alright, and then uh, backdrop color, I actually advise it to be the opposite color of um, your backdrop. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you guys want your backdrop to be blue, it's going to be orange, um, something like that. But I just, that's my personal preference. You guys don't have to agree or disagree at all. And I believe this one has to be up to 40 because it is, nope, 60. It's really odd. Alright, so once you got your three colors and they're all, look all looking nice and shiny and everything, um, I'm gonna go to the little cube and hit plane. Now, uh, span this all the way across your screen so that there's no place not covered except for the background. And you'll see what I mean when I render it. As you can see, there's a little bit of background and then there's the plane. So, what you wanna do is you wanna hit drag your uh, background color onto it. Then you want to click on it, Control C, Control V, and it's going to make a duplicate of it. Uh, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move it back a little bit. Use your rotate tool to rotate it up. And uh, once you render it, it's going to make this one look more of a grayish color and that one more of a whitish color. Um, not actually entirely sure why that's being layered, but. Um, 
Well, I'll just go with it. So, if I... Alright. That's really bugging me, but uh, I don't care. Alright, so... You're gonna zoom in on right here. Maybe rotate it up and zoom out a little bit. And you're gonna go up to MoGraph, hit Mo Text, and uh, write what you want in your text. Uh, then go to basic and rename it because you got to be really uh, organized when you do this. Um, and then choose your selected font. My uh, default font that I like to use is either Gang Wolf or Fortnite. I'm going to use Fortnite for this. And make sure that none of it is below this backdrop. All right? So uh, I'm going to use the move tool and move this up. And... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make extrude, you know, extrude nerves, drag that onto there, and then on this extrude nerves, you we're going to want to hit this with 80, 80, flat caps, flat caps. Now, this is the customizable part. I like three. Uh, it all depends on your personal preference. Um, but so yeah and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag your uh, main color onto it so my main color is going to be green and it'll look like this once you drop your main color onto it I know really hazy don't worry that'll fix up then you're going to want to click on extrude nerves hit control C control V and no, control control C control V and it's going to make another one click on the color delete it um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, object, uh, take this to 40, and take this to 40, and um, hit enter. And then uh, what I like to do is go to the side of it, of your text, and just move the extrude nerves uh, to the copy forward a little bit just so that you know that um, uh, just so you know what you're dealing with um, I'm going to move it down a little bit too and move it over this no, I'm going to move it inward move it out a little bit more and then you can you can come back to the front and it's going to look something like this um, drag your secondary color onto it and then it'll look like this, and then what you can do is you can render it. Make sure that's how you like it. Um, that's my personal preference. And then what you can do is you can add some lighting. Lights, very important. So as you can see, as I move this, it will start lighting up everything. When I render it, it makes it look all cool. It makes this look like it's metal and everything. But I am actually going to move the light forward a little bit no blue Come on. no alright well doesn't want to be kind so I'll have to move my screen and click on it again move it forward so that when you render it lights up the text a lot more than the background and as you can see it's going to also add that little uh, reflection right there um, just something a little bit cool about it. Alright. And then, uh, so now that you've got it to the way that you like it, um, we can go and set a camera. So you right click, or you click on the camera thing and select the camera. So once you're on the camera, you're going to want to go to view, use as render. And actually, hold up. Before you do that, you want to do view as render. And then hit a camera, or hit camera, then view as render. Alright, hold on. I know where I went wrong. Alright, what you're going to want to do? You're going to go cameras, use cam, view, view as render, then you're going to want to go to camera, then you're going to go to use camera, and use camera. Uh, so that way that uh, the camera is where you're looking. So if I was looking this way, the, 
That's the camera would be looking this way. If I was looking this way, the camera would be looking this way. If I was looking that way, the camera would be looking that way. If I'm looking this way, then the camera's gonna look this way. Just remember that. All right. So now that you got that, we're ready to actually start the animations. So um, put it to where you want it to start. And I like to start mine really far back. And if I, uh, I'm just gonna check my render settings. Yeah, I. That looks good. Um, this adds a little bit of mysteriousness to it. All right. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to zero. Well, my all of my videos are, or intros are 200 frames, and uh, so I like to keep that. Um, a lot of people make theirs a 30 second video, which is one, which is 1500. Mine are 40 second videos, which um, are 200 uh, frames. Basically. Um, double the frames and that's how many seconds your video is going to be um so mine's going to be sorry take off a zero and double the frames and that's how uh, long your video is going to be so this is going to be 20 minute second or 40 second long video so always use record position don't care about these always use keyframe so you're gonna set that, move to your next uh how fast you want it to go. Mine is gonna be fifty and it's gonna my whoa my camera is gonna end up right here. Keyframe. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna move the camera in. And I'll show you what that's gonna look like. It's gonna move it in that slow. Till it gets to there. Alright, and then I'm gonna jerk it back uh twenty frames and make it go right here so as you can see that's a fast transition so let's watch it always watch to see what's going on that was an extremely fast transition so go to the next place where you want it I'm gonna move this to 120 and it's gonna come across like this keyframe and as you can see that's going to be really slow again so if we play it move slow quick jerk in move slowly across so you can read the text and then it's going to stop and then I put mine to 60 move it out this way or I center it and then move it in this way trying to get it aimed up so I'm gonna just zoom in here real quick okay so then you once you do that you select where you want to go through you're gonna uh, draw back keyframe then at 200 it's gonna fly straight through and uh, then keyframe so if we reset it that one and we watch it through this is what it's going to look like so it goes down around over so you can read the text go through HTPN which stands for H how to PC nation All right. so now that we've got this all rendered we can go into the render settings go to screen and change this to, to 128 by uh, 10 20 40 1024 and you're going to want to change this to 720 and you're then you're going to want to change this to 180 and it's going to pop up with HDTV uh, go to save save it as AVI movie it's the best uh, selection and I'm going to name this intro 2 and then you're going to save your file um, yeah um, then you're going to want to go back to output and um, so however many frames you made it mine's 200 you want to have it from 0 to 200 that's all of the frames that's going to capture all right so um, mine's going to be from 0 to 200 200 FPS frames per set of frames and um, don't mess around with anything else just 
exit out of that, and then you can start rendering. Right, mine's going to take a while because of uh, my 200 uh, things. It's going to record 30 frames per second, which is pretty good. Um, and eventually it'll end up as I showed it in Zero One. It's going to eventually look like this. I'm just going to make the cool toss back. And, um, yeah, it's eventually going to end up like that. Um, but as you can see, it's only at 10. It takes about 30 minutes just to render uh, 200 frames. Um, I guess that I should stop off and say uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Um, if you comment... I will come to your house and give you a big fat hug. No joke. Um, but that's going to cost you $50 and a subscription. But, um, so, yeah. I'm not sure about that anymore. You guys are probably like, ooh, he's gay. No. Um, but, so, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe. Anything helps. Um, positive or negative, if it's negative, uh, we'll fix what uh, you guys thought was negative if you leave it in the comments. Uh, and if it's good, then we thank you. And if it's good, um, we're going to request that you please subscribe. Um, it really does help when you subscribe. Um, and who knows, I might just give a shout out to people when I get enough subscribers. Um, so, yeah. How to PC2? Signing out.